growing up, one of my favorite things to eat for dinner was grilled cheese sandwich. I always got excited when my mom said we were going to have that for dinner. And as an adult, I still love the old classic grilled cheese sandwich. But in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a wonderfully amped up grilled cheese sandwich. It's a jalapeno popper and bacon grilled cheese. It is something that you're not going to want to miss. And let's get going in the kitchen and make this. To get started on our recipe, we are going to put eight slices of bacon in a cast iron skillet and cook that up. And then we are going to slice up our jalapenos. If you want to have this a little bit on the hotter side, do not deseed or take all the seeds out. I'm removing most of the seeds because I don't want it to be super hot, but that is entirely up to you. Next, you are going to want to dice them up. You want a pretty fine dice because you don't want big, huge pieces of jalapeno. And then you're going to put that into the skillet that we just cooked the bacon in and cook those up until those are nice and soft. Once they're nice and soft and cooked, set them aside and into a mixing bowl we are going to put 8 ounces of cream cheese. We're going to cook, put the 8 slices of bacon that we cooked up. We're going to add in the jalapenos that we cooked up. And we're going to add maybe about a quarter teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. Then we are going to take an electric mixer and just mix this up until it's nice and incorporated. You want this to be spreadable. You do not want this to be clumpy and hard to spread. You want it nice and smooth and easy to spread. I'm using sourdough for my grilled cheese, but you can use any bread that you want. Then you want to take a nice, healthy pat of butter and put that on the outside of your bread so your bread does not burn when you go to cook it. Next, we are going to take about two teaspoons of our jalapeno popper dip and put that on one side of the bread and spread that out evenly with a knife. And as you can see, since I mixed it up pretty good, it, it spreads pretty easy. Then we are going to take our cheese. I grated up some jalapeno, or I grated up some pepper jack and some cheddar cheese. Fold that together and then get that ready to cook. Now you can use just a regular skillet, but since I had a panini press, I am using my panini press, which I just absolutely love. And in about two to three minutes, this sandwich is gonna be ready to eat. Give it a glance after two to three minutes and this is what you have. And it is time to remove this and enjoy slice it in half make it a little easier to eat and look at that guys this is going to be so yummy guys this is one you have to try this is so delicious it's addictive mm. all the great flavors of grilled cheese with the extra special addition of a jalapeno popper cream cheese, and bacon dip. It's delicious. Give it a try. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please check out some of the videos I have listed over here. I have plenty more cooking videos and lots of dinner ideas. Give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed that you did. And as always, I hope you all have a fabulous week, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.